my dear respected teachers thank you very much for giving us such an opportunity to build a project about fire extinguisher and alarming circuit fire accident is one of the most import most tragic and common accidents in our day to day life and it takes thousands of lives so in this project we basically use our knowledge which we gathered in tripoli 303 course and explain or implement a valid logic exp expression to extinguish the fire now in this project we use basically total four input elements or sensor circuit one is temperature sensor circuit which we see in the methodology and another is smoke sensor and carbon monoxide sensor and another is high current sensor and smoke and carbon monoxide sensor are merged and considered as a sensor which is shown here <coughs> with a and gate now we see here the output circuit is consist of alarm circuit and fire extinguisher and circuit breaker and if the fire is uh, occurred so if we confirm about the occurrence of fire then fire extinguisher circuit will be on and if we are not sure but there is a enough possibility to make fire then the alarm circuit will be on so in here we see the temperature sensor smoke sensor carbon monoxide sensor and high current sensor and the circuit of these types will be shown below at first here we see the smoke sensor basically smoke sensor is not implemented in our project ultimately we use a dc voltage source and if the sense if the sensor sense the smoke then the valid logic expression will be one otherwise not as well as the carbon sensor or carbon monoxide sensor is also controlled by manually and here we see the another sensor which is high current sensor basically high current sensor circuit are see here this is the this is the high current sensor and ultimately in our project we also determine we also don't determine the high current sensor practically just we consider the positive 5 band that means logic 1 or 0 value which is shown here and finally we see our most important part of our circuit which is the temperature sensor circuit and ultimately here we see the temperature sensor circuit which is consist of IC timer triple uh, 555 triple 5 timer and a thyristor and the red part of our circuit is the temperature sensor of our project so another of my partner now will be discuss about the another circuit elements or the logical expression and k map minimization of our circuit and ultimately we design a fire extinguisher circuit here and here we see that the input sensor that means temperature sensor is here and this is the other three types of sensor and the output will be shown here as a two motor which is a fire extinguisher and another is circuit extinguisher or fire extinguisher and the buzzer here will be work as a alarm circuit here is the circuit diagram this is the temperature sensor this one is the temperature sensor that responds to high temperature this is the uh, thermistor whose resistance reduces with increasing temperature that causes the transistor turned on thus the capacitor discharges and the triple five IC timer causes the, this LED causes this LED to be turned on until its voltage reaches 2 by 3 VCC this, lo this logic toggles represent the other three sensors we use this instead of we use this instead of the smoke detector uh, this one is for carbon monoxide detector and this is for high current measuring, measuring detector. We did not find any library for representing these three sensors, uh, so we use the logic toggles. 
here the one means uh, here the one uh, means the sensor uh, detects the regard uh, the regarding uh, excitation however here we can see that for different combinations of the input there are different uh, values of output uh, we, we see that if the temperature detector input is zero and also the smoke and carbon monoxide detector input is zero and also the and, and also the high current sensor input is zero then uh, there is no need of uh, there is no need of uh, ringing the alarm also no need of uh, the pulling out of the extinguisher no need of the pulling down of the circuit breaker but if any of the input either temperature detector uh, finds high temperature or the smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector uh, finds smoke and carbon monoxide uh, then we must uh, we must ring the alarm and open the exit gate so that uh, uh, for uh, for avoiding uh, um, for avoiding unwanted uh, unwanted situation uh, so uh, we see that any of the cases when x is 1 or y is 1 then alarm and exit is 1 but only if high current is 1 then uh, no need to uh, ring the alarm because uh, this might be uh, this this might be uh, a possible or probable situation but not the situation to be uh, rang uh, the alarm on now now for the extinguisher we see that uh, there are uh, uh, the extinguisher is kept on uh, if the if it is uh, if it is ensured that the uh, fire is on so uh, where we uh, set the extinguisher kept on uh, I mean where the extinguisher is one uh, that is if any two of the inputs are one either temperature is high and smoke and carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is detected then must there be a fire and extinguisher must be pulled down so this is the fact x is 1 y is 1 and so extinguisher is pulled down similarly in the case that smoke and carbon monoxide is, is detected and high current is flowed then uh, then we can uh, assume that high current causes uh, the uh, causes the fire uh, so what should we what should we do so uh, we also uh, kept the extinguisher pulled on also in this case also in this case uh, where high temperature is uh, found and also high current is found so also extinguisher is pulled down and also in this case when the three inputs are one uh, temperature is high smoke and carbon monoxide is detected and also high current is detected then extinguisher circuit is pulled down now the circuit breaker works uh, at uh, that cases when the current is high uh, even also if this case even also uh, this case uh, where the alarm is not rang uh, the uh, the alarm is not ringing and the extinguisher circuit is not uh, working but also the circuit breaker is doing work because it's because uh, uh, we want uh, we want that <coughs> we want to avoid the uh, possible alarming situation uh, so uh, the high current here the high current uh, is uh, so that the high current cannot cause any trouble and so we use the circuit breaker uh, turned on and also in this case uh, when uh, high current is found also in this case when high current is found and also in this case but for the case but for, but for this case we see that the high current is not found but uh, but circuit breaker is turned on uh, it's because uh, it's, it's because the uh, temperature is high and smoke is detected so fire is on so uh, so as there is fire uh, as there is fire uh, to avoid the uh, high, um, to avoid the situation uh, not to be worst more uh, we cause the circuit breaker turned on so this is our circuit uh, here this line uh, if the line this line shows one if this line shows one then we will uh, assume that 
x equals to 1 I mean high temperature is found and if this line uh, uh, this uh, line shows 1 then uh, smoke is detected this line uh, uh, 1 in this line uh, means carbon monoxide is detected and 1 in this line means high current is uh, detected uh, then for different input input combination shown in the truth table uh, we will find different output uh, so uh, let's work with uh, a single input uh, one thing to be noted here there are three latches uh, before the uh, three outputs uh, this latch uh, the work of this latch is that uh, if uh, uh, input inputs are one uh, then the circuits will be turned on and the motor will be run and the buzzer will be uh, ringing on but uh, if the inputs for any reason for any natural reason if the inputs uh, return to zero then the buzzer should be kept on the uh, motor should be uh, uh, motor should should be running on uh, so the uh, latch so the latches are used uh, so that uh, uh, if any one time uh, output is one then changes in input will not change the output uh, so we will uh, work with uh, two different we will so, uh, show demonstration for two different inputs <coughs> uh, let us take this uh, let us take this two uh, this this input uh, x equals to one y equals to zero z equals to one Uh, to keep x equals to 1 uh, firstly we should uh, set this to, to 1 the reset pin should be resetted then compilation is done then simulation is run okay okay then reset pin should be firstly turned 0 and the expected input we will give here uh, expected input uh, what will uh, what we said earlier that uh, any ex uh, any expected uh, any input uh, we uh, uh, want to work with 101 this 101 okay to keep x1 or high temperature detection we must re uh, reduce the temperature uh, reduce the uh, reduce the resistance to uh, uh, to demonstrate the high temperature so we reduce the reduce the temperature <laughs> okay so this will be 0 and this will be 1 okay then what is happening uh, what we expected we expected 1 1 1 this is 1 1 1 uh, but important thing to be noted here that uh, if we turn this return this inputs to zero these must uh, kept on so let's see this this you see that uh, although i have uh, reduces the temperature or increases the resistance here and although i have uh, uh, high, uh, the high temperature uh, detector has returned to zero the output is showing keep, uh, keep uh, uh, output is, is shown to be ke uh, keeping on uh, keeping on uh, again these are zeros but the outputs are, keep, are kept on again in, uh, again another can be uh, another input can be taken <coughs> let's it is one one zero that is high temperature is found uh, smoke and carbon monoxide is detected but uh, not high current uh, but e but as uh, uh, temperature is detected to be high 
smoke and carbon monoxide is detected so obviously there is, is fire and alarm must be uh, ringing on and exit gate should be exit gate should be opened and extinguisher circuit extinguisher should be pulled down and circuit breaker should be pushed on so that uh, to avoid the unwanted and uh, unwanted situation and to avoid the situation to be uh, not to be worse let's see so the inputs are 110 output should be 111 firstly this should be get reset reset okay simulation compilation is done we run the simulation and now this will be turned to zero this will be turned to zero this will be turned to zero now input should be one one zero one one zero okay one, one, zero. one. you see that uh, making x equals to one making x equals to one y equals to 1 and z equals to 0 causes the three inputs to be 1 three outputs to be 1 and uh, the thing to be to be demonstrated is uh, if we return these inputs to 0 uh, whether these three circuits kept on So uh, this is the circuit demonstration that uh, that we should uh, uh, show here. Okay. So this is our project about fire extinguisher and detection circuit. And thank you very much, sir, for your patience to see our video throughout the last. And we are very much indebted to you to teach us uh, very carefully throughout this term and hope we are all safe thank you